What up guys, how are you guys doing? I'm Talos and we're back with another how-to slice. In today's how-to slice video, we're going to be checking out a really nice home decor. So let's go to the video. So this is a really beautiful lampshade. And in this video, we're going to be checking out the best print settings to print this. So let's go. So as you can see, this is a multi-part model. Right here, we got the base. This is the lampshade and this is the lid. So we can just um, after we print, we can just assemble. So this is really nice. So let's go to the print settings. So first off, right here in layer height, we're gonna be printing this model at 0 0.2 millimeter um, layer height. This way, we're not gonna be changing this value. At printing at 0 0.2 millimeters, we're gonna get a good balance between time of print and quality. As for vertical shells, we're gonna be leaving at three. This way, we're going to get a really rigid model. And as for infill, we're going to be increasing to 10% infill density. This is great with a gyroid infill pattern. As for brim, we do not need any brim because this model's got a solid surface of contact to the build plate. It's quite nice. The chances of your print unsticking from the build plate are really low. As for um, support material, this model is optimized for printing, so we do not need any support material at all. And as for speed, feel free to print with um, your standard print speed for your printer or a profile that you may like. But if you're going to print this model, print with, if you're going to change this, any of the speed, uh, lower down and reduce the speed. It's always better to print slow than trying to print really fast and it failing multiple times. So print one time really slow. This is fantastic. So this is a really nice model. Now we are ready to slice. All of the models can be printed with the same print settings. If you're going to print this in a 220 by 220 millimeter um, build plate, um, you may not be able to fit all of the models, but feel free to print in different build plates so you can print in different colors. So let's say a base in black and the lampshade in white. So feel free to do so. So now we're going to be slicing. So as you can see, we have sliced and it looks quite nice. All of the layers being printed out right here. As you can see, this is a fantastic print. So grab a really nice filament that you have laying around and print this model right now. So the model is ready to print. Make sure to check out stlflix.com for more models like this one and I'll see you in another one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.